it's Elena and welcome or welcome. Whoa. I have TMJ, so it's really hard for me to talk sometimes. Oof. I didn't do my jaw exercises. Anyway, <laughs> what's up guys, it's Elena. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I just made myself my breakfast, which is two carrots and an apple juiced in some water and ice. I always like to have beverages before I have a meal. I'm home alone for a very long time today, which I love. I don't have my car with me, so I can't go anywhere because currently it's in the shop. I literally have to pay so much money to get some parts redone. Adulting, car bills, I wasn't ready. Nobody told me it was going to be like this. Today is super sunny, like it's super bright in my room right now and I'm very happy because I feel like I've been lacking a lot of vitamin D even though I take supplements. Living in upstate New York, living in New York generally, winter blues really comes around so I have to be on top of like health and physical activity wise, trying to get as much sun on my skin as possible. I usually take some flaxseed oil and then I also take some B12 because I don't actually eat a lot of meat. I don't eat red meat, I don't eat pork, and I have not eaten those two for, I think it's gonna be almost two years. I also take some iron pills. I actually just ran out and have to get more because I don't get enough iron in. When I don't take in enough iron, I get really dizzy, like when I stand up too fast or like lightheaded. I also get very sleepy. There's like a lack of sun exposure around the winter so I take some vitamin D and then sometimes I pop these multivitamins for women but I don't really take these that often. Winter blues can just really affect me a lot so I'm trying to be better at preventing winter blues this this winter. The surface of my skin right now is super super dry because it's fall, it's very cold right now. So I'm just gonna quickly do my skincare. I'll show you guys what I'm using currently. Nowadays, I usually like to start my skincare routine with a cotton pad and a toner, and that is how I like to cleanse my skin. This is the Shiseido cotton pad, and today I'm gonna be using the Skin 1004 Centella Toning Toner. And then I jump into using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. I really like this one. It's a thicker consistency and I put this one after for the purpose of extra hydration. I'm using the April Skin Gel Cream. It is lightweight, so for those who have oilier skin, you're actually really gonna like this. But for the winter time, I like to use something a little bit thicker. And because this is lightweight, I like to usually just pack on a bunch of hydrating products. I'm gonna be taking this Claire Soft Air UV Essence. This is SPF 50, but I'm not sure how accurate that is. Usually for my last step, I like to use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This one is such a go-to for me, especially for the colder, drier months. And that's it for today's skincare routine. Today is my first ever therapy session and I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how it goes and what we both discover about me. I've always just been curious and I can't wait to see how therapy goes for me. I'm very excited. But I also wanted to show you guys something that I've been doing as well that's pretty new. And that is this app that I just recently downloaded called I Am. And it's basically an affirmation app. So the affirmations are set on whatever time you want to receive them from whatever time in the morning to whatever time at night. And you can also choose how many affirmations you want this has been really helpful for me because sometimes I can get to a lot of negative thought traps so it's really nice to see so much positivity just like popping up on my notifications and the notifications that I've gotten so far I am proud of how hard I am trying I'm worthy of love abundance success happiness and fulfillment I am transforming into someone who is happy and peaceful and all these other affirmations at first i was like this is so corny i basically downloaded this for the reason being that i wanted to rewire my brain to think more positively this has been so so nice i'm not even lying i hope you guys download it try it because it is free this is not sponsored this is just something that i'm really really enjoying
I think I really lucked out on a really good therapist. She is the coolest, kindest therapist I feel like I could have ever stumbled upon. She really knows what she's doing. She knows what she's talking about. She really listened. That was probably one of the main things I really wanted is for someone to listen and to respond with some knowledge. And I can really see why people really enjoy therapy. I feel like it was just the serotonin boost of the day that I needed. I feel like I just want to like relax right now. So I think I'm going to hop in the hot tub. It's the afternoon and I wanted to show you guys what I got from Target. Just a quick little Target beauty haul. The first thing I got are these two things. I bought them together. This is the super famous L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Like the powder foundation from TikTok that's like super, super famous. And then I also got this Sonia Kasha flat top brush for liquid foundation, powder foundation. On TikTok, they said like flat top brushes work the best. It also said that it was full coverage, but I also don't think it's full coverage at all. I think it gives like a nice medium coverage maybe. This is what the foundation looks like on me. I think this works perfectly for those who have oily skin. I feel like those who have dry skin are absolutely going to hate it unless you wear like a really hydrating primer. It is going to accentuate your surface dryness, so just make sure you exfoliate before and hydrate really well. I also got myself this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is supposed to be a dupe to the Tarte shape tape concealer. The next two things that I got is this Fit Me powder blush in the color Plum. I just feel like Plum really goes well with like fall vibes. Then I got this cute little e.l.f. palette. It's the e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow hot jalapeno and I'm absolutely in love with all sorts of greens and I have not, I don't think I've ever tried like a green eye makeup look. Right now I still don't have my car back so it's not like I can really leave my house and do anything. I do have to get some work done also later tonight in a couple of hours i have a party to attend i've never attended a party like this before the owner of one of my jobs she is hosting an engagement party and i'm going to try to like film something from that it's going to be super fun but i actually have to wear their traditional clothing they are pakistan she lent us some of their traditional dresses and she picked out a dress for me she picked out a dress for my sister before i get to go to the party later i do have to go on my computer edit some videos answer some emails do all of that super fun stuff I started the night off by doing my makeup and the theme for this party is full glam which isn't exactly my usual makeup look but it's just not really something that I'm used to but I was really excited to try full glam because I haven't done it in a really long time mostly because I feel like full glam requires so much makeup artistry skill that I don't really think I have my sister ended up picking me up she brought me the dress but she literally forgot the pants to the dress that I was lent 
So I just ended up going there with a see-through dress. This party was actually a surprise for the bride, so it was super special for her. And they had a rehearsed dance for her too, which made it even more special. There were so many dances, it was so nice to see them doing this thing. Because Pakistan culture isn't a culture I know too well, but I really felt like I got to see so much that night. And maybe learn and understand more. The rest of the night was super fun because we got to eat really good authentic Pakistan food. To end the night I decided to dance with everybody like I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't even know anybody there. I only knew like two people. One being my sister and one being my boss. Anyway that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!